Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter and welcome to my Insiders Update. Today I'm going to cover some of the announcements Google has made during the 2021 Google Marketing Livestream. There are lots of updates for Google Ads, Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. So let's jump in and run through some of the most important announcements. First up, let's talk about updates to Google Ads. Google announced a new type of campaign coming to Google Ads called Performance Max Campaigns. They use Google's machine learning to automatically place ads across all of Google's placements, including YouTube, the Display Network, the Search Network, Google Discover, Gmail, and Google Maps. They're going to be a highly automated type of campaign, so you will provide details about the conversion objective, put in your creative assets for your ads, along with other options, and then Google will automate bidding, ad variations, and optimization for you. Like all of the highly automated options in Google Ads, I recommend ensuring that you have enough data to feed Google's machine learning and run a small scale trial once this type of campaign becomes available in your account. Next are image extensions for search ads. You can now show images with your ads on Google search results using the image extension. Let's head to Google Ads to take a look. We can find the new image extension by selecting Ads and Extensions, and then Extensions. We click the plus sign, and select Image Extension. You can then upload up to 20 images that can be displayed along with your ad. Next are Enhanced Conversions. Enhanced Conversions is designed to improve the accuracy of conversion data for your campaigns. It lets you securely send first-party data to Google Ads when someone converts on your website. For example, if someone completes your lead form, you can then send their hashed email address to Google. Details are then matched to signed-in Google accounts so that conversions are attributed to clicks, views, and other events associated with your ads. You can set up enhanced conversions using Google Tag Manager or the Global Site Tag, and I've included links in the description below this video. Other announcements include, Customer Match is more widely available, New Attribution Reporting will include more touch points for different types of campaigns, Ad Customizers will be available for responsive search ads, A new version of the Insights page will be rolling out in the coming months, and there's a new tool to help import offline conversions into Google Ads. It's called the Offline Conversion Import Helper. Google announced even more updates, but those were my top picks for Google Ads. To learn more about the announcements, I've included links in the description below this video. Now let's talk about updates for Google Analytics. Google has announced a number of upcoming changes to Google Analytics 4 or GA4. First are updates to our reports. GA4 will let administrators completely customize the reporting experience inside the interface. Let's look at an example they showed during the Google Marketing Livestream. Here we can see a new report customization feature. We can see options to change the metrics and dimensions included in reports, along with the charts and cards that are included in a report. We can see an updated menu and then options to customize the menu and the reports included in the menu. And they've also announced that we will be able to customize the home report in GA4 too. Apart from changes to the reports and interface, Google also announced a new advertising workspace in GA4. This will see the addition of new reports and attribution options. I've heard from lots of people wanting more attribution options in GA4, so this announcement is great to hear. And there were privacy-related announcements too. Since GA4 is designed to work as a privacy-first analytics tool, there were a number of privacy-related features announced. This includes enhanced conversions, which will use conversion modeling to fill in gaps when first-party data isn't available for your reports. This will mean that if someone doesn't let you use cookies to measure them, their actions can still be reported in Google Analytics. And the other exciting news is that Google also said that modeling will be extended to the behavior reports. This means that Google Analytics will be able to fill in even more gaps if data isn't available for some of your users. 
there are also new privacy features available in Google Tag Manager. This includes a new consent initialization trigger that lets you control when tags are fired based on user consent and new tag settings that let you manage consent. Overall, these new privacy features will allow you to connect Google Tag Manager to a consent management platform so that specific tags are only fired when required. Let's head to Google Tag Manager to take a look. Here we can see I have an existing GA4 tag. Let's select it. And let's choose Tag Configuration. And then Advanced Settings. At the bottom, we can see Consent Settings. And we can then choose when the tag is fired based on user consent. For example, if we need people to opt in before this tag fires, then we can use the Require Additional Consent option to ensure the tag fires after someone has accepted the use of cookies. And there is a new Consent Overview page that provides top-level details about your consent settings. To enable this page, we head to Admin. And then choose Container Settings. Select the option to enable the Consent Overview and click Save. Now let's head back to the workspace. Select Tags and then click the Consent Overview icon. We will then see tags grouped under Consent Not Configured and Consent Configured, which lets us quickly see how consent is configured for each of our tags. So there are lots of exciting announcements covering Google Ads, Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. And I've also been busy here at Love's Data. Since my last Insiders update, I published lots of videos to my YouTube channel and I've also been releasing updates to my courses covering Google Ads and GA4. So if you're ready to learn even more, then take a moment to check out my latest videos and my courses. I've included links in the description below this video. That's all for now. And as always, if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.